your gorgeous birthday scrumptious tasty juicy scorpio welcome to your love tarot reading this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising and venus boo -boo. and this is your singles reading baby so we're going to see what new fishies are swimming at you in the sea of love who's out who's in who's getting deleted from the database baby and is it a bimbo himbo from of uh, the tenders anyone in between you're going to meet on a tuesday uh boo -boo. also scorpio if you are new to the channel welcome to blue angel love tarot and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you i see you baby give me a kiss mm. my lips are parched and dry because we've been on the beach all day all right boo -boo. so i apologize we're doing it in my but again <laughs> so let's see what's going on also this group you just a quick uh, just a quick update on my drama okay because i'm having some drama um it's it's pretty upsetting too so i have to i have to say i'm really upset today because i made so many videos today they were so beautiful and i'm having so many technical issues like a part of it is mercury retrograde but i feel like a part of it is also this island and all the energies all my awakening you know i do a lot of work with the goddess but they Maybe I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but it's just like I made so many videos today, and I and, and I got back and like no sound. They look gorgeous, but there's no sound, so you can look at them. And then I looked at my mic, and it's just the cable is like broken off. It's almost like little mice at night came came to my room and like gnawed through the cables. Like I kid you not, it's just like uncanny. So I don't know what the messages are from this like whatever but my sound is bad and my mic is breaking down so let me know in comments below if this mic is acceptable for you for another week and we're going to change the mic as soon as i am settled in my new location baby because i'm going to be in cyprus for another week so do let me know baby i feel awful i'm virgo moon double scorpio virgo moon like oh my god when i get working on something i just like this is my life you know so it just annoys me so much and i'm so sorry because sound is so important baby I'm so sorry and I'm also kind of tired I'm happy obviously because it's a, like it's not really my problems are not real problems you know what I mean but um yeah I just yeah I'm sorry I'm Scorpio <laughs> also if you're new to the channel this is a Scorpio safe space so we can just be like our own little Scorpionic self so this is my little Scorpio confession that I did this like whole intense you know Scorpio style I did like I don't know I think I made 50 videos today <laughs> on the beach like in the sun and then like I got back and I was like, all the videos are trash. All right, anyway, Queen of Wands is crossing you, baby. A new love is coming in. Someone really passionate, someone who's very popular, someone who has the options. They're not just passionate for you. They don't just have a beautiful soul. They're actually someone who's super passionate. Like, okay, they're passionate for you, but other people see them as passionate too. This is someone who has a lot of uh, followers maybe, you know, on social media. Or they're really popular. Or uh, it's someone who... It's just like they're very cute, gorgeous, you know, like the lifeguard. <laughs> On this, this lifeguard here that like, you know, we're in love with each other. We can, I mean, he's in love with me, let's just say that. But, you know, I'm going to be in love with him tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, you know, it's that, it's that kind of a vibe. Like it's someone who's like either good looking or they have something that other people really desire. So this, excuse me, I was like, oh my God, drowning in love with Bill. Oh my God, Scorpio, it's just been, it's been such a ride. Thank you for bearing with me, baby. I really appreciate it. Um, someone who, it's someone who is super popular. A lot of people want a piece of them. They're just like, you know, people grabbing at them. Uh, and it's someone who means business too. But this person, even though they're popular, they could have any, they could have any peasant in the village. They're like, yeah, I don't want a peasant though. You know, I'm like, I, you know, I rule this village, you know. I want a peasant. I want another king, queen, anyone between, boo boo, you know? Uh, this person's been saving themselves for someone special. Ah, boo boo. Ah, the emperor, okay? This is where you're at right now. You're taking ownership of your entire life, Scorpio, okay? Oh, Scorpio, I feel so happy for you. Oh, I really vibe with this reading, baby. I don't really read for myself, but I claim this reading today. The Emperor, you're taking charge of your life, baby, okay? You're taking charge of your emotions, uh, your stability, your beautifulness, you know? You're like, you're, you've really come to understand, Scorpio. 
that it is important to allow the peasants to worship you. You know, you are sitting on your throne. Emperor, Empress, anyone in between, but though you're sitting on your throne, you're surveying the land, you know, from your mount here. Mount, this is Mount Olympus. You're at the top of it. You're like, this is the, the house of the gods. You're like, oh, peasants. Yeah. Where's my figs from the trees, peasants? <laughs> Where, where's my gifts of adoration? This is your day, dating life right now. You could have a lot of... A lot of people after you, but just like this person who's crossing you already in their energy, just like the soulmate who's coming in who is new, you've been very discerning in who you associate yourself with. You know, uh, you you don't you don't just want another peasant. That's the thing. You're like peasants. Yeah, you're enjoying the attention of the peasants, but you know you're saving yourself for that one and only. You're saving yourself for someone who is valuable. Um, it's very interesting because the eagle is in this card and this is an Aries card, but this is Scorpio vibes too because Scorpio is the eagle. So, you know, this is discernment. Scorpio is that beautiful bird that, you know, um, high up in the sky using discernment, using their, uh, X you know, it's that Scorpionic x-ray vision, uh, you know, hunting down what it is that they truly want. Uh, so it's about surveying your targets, knowing, uh, knowing, you know, knowing when it's, time and knowing when it's appropriate to go for something um you do have the three of wands in the past so you do have a long period in love with someone where new no movement was happening someone left you hanging someone left you guessing you could have been in a long distance relationship maybe or you could have been in a you know it doesn't have to be it's a term we're reading on the internet i'm just a random bimbo on the internet but basically take the messages with a grain of salt and how they resonate but could have been someone who had dis put distance between you and them. If it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone between you went on a Tuesday, it was a love bomb. And then that person kind of puts you up on a shelf a little bit. You know, they're like, well, now you have to wait for me, Scorpio. First, they made you love them. They were like, now you have to wait for me. If it was a marriage of 20 years, it was someone who just wasn't recognizing uh, your value. You know, you have recognized your own value now, but if, if someone in the past, in your recent past, wasn't recognizing your value. And it was like a peasant. You know, the peasant thought that they were the emperor, but it was the other way around. And, you know, you struggled with that. You were hoping this person would recognize your value for a long time, and they never did. And unfortunately, that had to end. The angels carried that person away from you. The goddess Aphrodite, you know, she's also the goddess of war. You know, she just shoot them away. Um, you have the moon here coming in. This is amazing energy, uh, goddess energy here, pure triple goddess energy. One of the most powerful cards in, uh, ever, <laughs> really, for me. The moon, the goddess, you know. Um, the goddess is coming in to give you the gifts uh, of love that you aspire to and that you deserve to do. Uh, you've been putting in a lot of work. You've been coming into your own. You've been standing... Uh, you know, tall, you've not been taking crumbs from people's, you know, um, people's situations. You've not been picking up, you know, other people's leftover energy. You're like, no, I want royalty. I am royalty. I give myself to the goddess, God, anyone in between, you know, whatever you believe in, the universe. Um, I'm, you know, I'm on this path with the goddess myself, but, you know, anyone, you know, whatever you believe in, it's totally fine. You know, you're coming into your maybe starseed heritage or, you know, your royalty, your, you know, your ancestors are here protecting you. A uh, very strong protection on each side, but to your left, to your right, behind you and in front of you is your angel, uh, baby Scorpio. You have a lot of protection. Scorpios always have a lot of protection. And you have the magician going forward. So, um, Bibu, Bibu, you can have a manifestation, baby. You're manifesting. You're manifesting a whole new way of life for yourself. And you're manifesting it uh, right now by yourself. And then you're, you will be in the near future. You will be co-manifesting it with your beautiful soulmate who's coming in. Uh, so this is two people, two magicians meeting, Bibu. Two mages. Oh, oh, my God. I love this. Two Two magical people meeting together at the crossroads, okay? This is the goddess bringing it together at the crossroads. I'm going to cry. Oh, my God. Scorpio, if you have any Gemini placements, watch the Gemini reading because I cried throughout that reading. And I'm getting similar vibes here. It's like a meeting at the crossroads with the ordained by the goddess, you know? Uh, that's where she resides and that's where she protects people who are on a journey of spiritual discovery and this is someone who's either going to be spiritual outright spiritual or it's going to be a bill who is accidentally spiritual you know like it's an a, a manifester but they don't know it or it's a magician but they don't know it it's you know a sorceress but they don't know it until they find out because you're gonna meet their magical little baby skippy yo two little psychics together and uh you do have two people with 
extremely high discernment. And I'll tell you another thing on a spiritual level, this is gonna sound crazy, insane, ego-driven, whatever, but this is the Scorpio lair, okay? This is Scorpio, Scorpio ship, all right? No, get on the ship, mommy's little ship. Big fail. In this dynamic, you are the more royal. It doesn't make sense, Bibu. I think you struggle, Scorpio, because you have such high royalty around you. Like, but it's like by royalty, I mean just like your spiritual aura, you know. And finally, someone who can meet you there. But still, I think this person is going to really love you very much and understand you and appreciate you because they're going to see that uh, even with them, you know, as much as they have maybe status or money or adoration or they're popular or even famous, maybe uh, this person is going to understand that what you provide as a Scorpio um, and you know in your specific Scorpio little Scorpio situation boo -boo, this person is going to understand that even for them you're a little bit out of their league and this is not to be like egotistical about like because Scorpios are special or whatever it's just to say that person is going to recognize that because there's something special and deeper because Scorpio represents death so there's a, a kind of a reverence to that and uh, people in your past didn't see a lack of recognition of royalty here in this card so i think what is going to happen is that person is going to revere that part of you you know that the the beautiful divine uh, darkness that is also light uh that person is going to see that as like it's going to be like a religious spiritual experience for them this love with you and that is scorpio love that is what the scorpio re uh, requires uh to feel fulfilled in love and that person will give you that they will uh they will worship you uh the way that you deserve to be worshipped not that you expect it but i'm just saying that scary this is just a, a beautiful beautiful gorgeousness reading baby this is all preordained by by the angels by by the goddess by god by everyone <laughs> the birds the bees the goddess of her deity everyone the little pearls in the ocean okay let's look at the timing uh, for some of you, you're going to be meeting this person within a month. Uh, if it doesn't happen for you within a month, it is going to happen by Gemini season uh, this coming year. So within six months, this is what I see. Also, baby, do be mindful as well, all right? It could be Sagittarius season two. Um, be mindful, baby. You need to put yourself out there, okay? Because you're currently in this position of like, I think you're putting yourself out there, all right? Scorpio, let me just say this. I think mommy sees you're putting yourself out there, but mommy says if you're not putting yourself out there, put yourself out there, right? Put yourself out there, go go hiking to the mountains, go bird watching, go do the bum, bumbles, you know, tenders, rias, milf.com, you know, whatever it takes, baby. You got to do that. You you know, like any, any means necessary because that person needs to, it's like you need to find each other. I also see quite possibly, you know, the reason why you haven't met this high order soulmate yet is because you're from two different backgrounds or two different almost like places, you know, because one, see, there's one in the mountains and there's one in the woodlands. So it could be, if not different cultures, it is different countries or different landscapes. So uh, the two have to come together either through travel, through some kind of movement or communication. So take that as it resonates, my darling, and scoop you. But it's going to be magical. I mean, you got, look at the cards you got here. You got the Emperor, you got the Moon, and you got the Magician. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't scare you. I'm, I feel so, so happy for you. I, I'm manifesting this for all my uh, Bibu Scorpios right now. Um, oh, Scorpio, thank you for sharing your energy with me, my darling. I'm always amazed that you choose to spend your time with me. I'm so great. I'm going to cry again. <laughs> I've just been crying all day because it's tears of joy, baby. I'm just like so, so grateful. Thank you for coming on this uh, spiritual journey with me as well. Uh, Scorpio, let me know in the comments below if this resonated for you. Also, let me know about the mic. Is this acceptable for a few days yet? And then, you know, we'll switch to a, a better mic as soon as I get one. Uh, and Scorpio, yeah, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. This is a good time to do that because we're still in Cyprus and Goddess Aphrodite energy all over the place. And Scorpio, if uh, you vibe with my channel, you um, like my readings, <laughs> uh, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, a like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on youtube and my baby stay vibing stay graciousness stay scrupulous stay royal stay moisturized i will see you uh, tonight because there's another video coming out tonight it's you versus them uh take care of yourself my uh graciousness uh stay sparkly may the angels protect you and the goddess of love bless you mm -hmm. two more kisses i love you my scrupulous